In this lesson, we are going to learn the spectrum synth basics by editing the harmonics of a spoken word sample. We start by using the Auto Build Sequence tool to create a series of spectrum events called a spectrum sequence that represents the sound's harmonics. The number of events that are created is determined by the measures and beat settings. Beat really means slice in this context and might be different than the number of metrical beats. Let's choose fit tempo so that we match the duration of the original sound and let's see what we have. <laughs> Well, that sounds vaguely like our original. Welcome to Metasynth. But not that much. And that's because we created only 16 events. So let's increase the number of events that we have to increase the resolution. Click Auto Build Sequence. I choose Fit Tempo or type the F key. Welcome to Metasynth. Here is a vast creative space. Okay, that's a lot closer to our original. We're not trying to reproduce the original sound precisely. We're using this as a jumping off point to create something new. The orange lines represent the harmonics of the sound. The brighter a line is, the louder that the harmonic is. You can see the pitch information about any harmonic by moving the mouse over it and observing the tooltips area. Let's listen to our sound again. Welcome to medicine. By switching to the alternate color table, by clicking on this tool, we can get a better view of the low amplitude harmonics. These are drawn in green and purple. We can see that there are a lot of clusters of low level harmonics that are unrelated to the main harmonics. This is typical of speech, which is unpitched and noisy. We can use the increase contrast tool to remove the low amplitude harmonics. Welcome to medicine. Here's Let's click, a vast drag to the right. Now we're going to leave some in because we're going to remap those harmonics to help give us a sense of pitch. Speech is more or less unpitched. For this example, we are going to impose a sense of pitch on our speech sample by using the Tune Harmonics tool. There are three different ways that Metasynth can tune the harmonics. Normally, when you click and drag the Tune tool, it progressively remaps all the harmonics to the ideal harmonics of the reference pitch, which is displayed here. It actually moves harmonics to the nearest ideal harmonic. If you hold down the Option key, the tooltip says Filter and Tune Reference Pitch Harmonics. In this mode, harmonics that are far from the ideal are filtered out and the remaining harmonics are progressively remapped. This will retain some of the richness that can be lost by retuning all of the harmonics. Let's take a listen. Welcome to medicine. Here is a vast creative space. If you hold down Option and Control while dragging, the tooltip says filter out unrelated harmonics. Harmonics that are far from ideal are filtered out, but no harmonics are remapped. Let's take a listen. Welcome to medicine. Here is a vast creative space. When you tune the harmonics, the tuning is done with the active reference pitch, displayed up here. You can create interesting effects by selecting groups of events and tuning them with different reference pitches. Let's switch back to the default color mode and watch while I apply this trick. Select the first group of events and then set the reference pitch to A1. Tune. Select the next group of events. Here is a vast creative space. Tune them. Here is a vast creative space. Here is a vast creative space. Now I'm going to tune them. F sharp. Here is a vast creative space. Here is a vast creative space. Here is a vast creative space.
Go an octave up from the original reference pitch. Another important aspect of a spectrum sequence is the interpolation mode. The interpolation mode determines how Metasynth fades from one event to another. The default mode is slow. Metasynth slowly crossfades from one event to the next so that you have smooth transitions. The constant mode does no crossfading between events. And lastly, there are three attack modes that impose an attack envelope on each event.